Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be very important. We will discuss cross join. Cross join is not not discussed much, but it is very useful sometimes. So we will I will divide this video in three parts. First, I will explain what is cross join, how it works, and then we will discuss two use cases. One to prepare master data, and second case, which is very important. Sometimes you have to create performance data to perform to see the performance of your queries or whatever you have to generate huge data like millions of data but in original you don't have much data in your table let's say you have one leg records but you want to generate 20 million records and do testing right so how do you generate so that also we will see how we can utilize cross join and within no time we can generate millions of records using cross join okay so let's start the video and please do like my videos and comment so that it will reach wider audience also it gives me motivation that more people are liking so I will create more videos. Okay, so let's start. So what is cross join? So let's say I have two tables, right? Let's say I have a product table and a color table. Now generally when we join two tables, we join on a particular key, right? Let's say I have an employee table and department table and I have a department ID common and I will join, right? But in, but in cross join, we don't give any join condition. So I will say select from products right comma colors and I am not giving any join condition right so what will happen when I don't give any join condition so it will be a Cartesian what will happen this record will be joined with all three records because there is no join condition if there is a join condition let's say ID equal to color ID so it will say ID ID and this will be joined with these three records and you will get only three records. One will be joined with this, two will be joined with this, three will be joined with this. Right? Only three records will be there. Right? But here I am not giving any join condition. Right? So what will happen? Every record of this table will be joined with every record of this table. Right? So if I do this and I say let's say I alias it P and C. So each product A will come with all three colors. Product B will come with all three colors. Likewise, we will have 5 into 3, 15 records. So P dot star, comma, C dot star. Right? So if I see this, see, I have 15 records total. And each record of product table joined with each color of, uh, each record of color table. Right? So this is how it is. Hope, hope this is clear. Cross join is clear, right? We will see the use cases of it, but I think this is clear. Each record of this will be joined with each record of this. 5 into 3, 15. Now, how it can be useful, right? You will see what is the point of doing this cross join. Each record of this is getting joined with each record of this. What is the sense, right? No sense. There is no joining key. Just it is creating unnecessarily 15 records. It can be useful. I will tell you one, one very important use case. So, let's say you have... You have one more table I have, I will show you. Select star from sizes. Okay. We'll see that table. And we will talk about master data use case. So I have a transaction table. Star from transactions. Transactions. Okay. Sorry for that. Okay. And I have uh, some transactions like uh, I have a different orders and different product name, different color and different sizes and what is the amount I sold for a particular order ID. I have not put more, more columns because to explain this concept, these columns are enough. Okay. There can be order date, chip date, a lot of other columns. But just to explain this, I have created this small table. Okay. So now what is happening is you have different transactions here. So you see you have color, different color, different sizing and different products. So, your company has these products, okay, your company has 5 products, let's say, and this company has for each product, let's say it is a t-shirt making company, they have all the colors. So, in each, each product, I have all the colors. So, the product, the t-shirt A will have all colors, blue, green, orange, or each color has all the sizes, M, L, XL, right? All the sizes are there, all colors are there for each product. So total how many products will be there are 5 into 3 into 3. We call this stock keeping unit SKU. So 5 into 3 15, 15 3 is 45. Right. That is fine. 
so we have all the combinations in our store now when we see the transactions table there are some transaction now your store manager is saying give me give me the the uh, sales for each product color and size so what you will do you will say select product name comma color comma size and sum of amount as total amount right group by this so it will tell you for each product each color each size what are your sales right some transactions so it is telling you for each product color size combination what are the amount we sold what is the total sale which is straight forward but now store manager will say uh, but i have other combinations also right for a also i have other sizes i don't see that that information he will say if if something has not sold show me zero right i want all the combination in my report if nothing is sold show me zero you said okay what you will do now you need all the combination here you can make use of cross join so what i am going to do now um, i have this table right so i will say i will take size also so size is table is there s and let's see s dot star right so if you see i have all the 45 combinations coming right so what i will do what i need from here i need p dot name as product name right and c dot colors this will my color and s dot size will be size i don't need key columns right if you see now i got all the combination of three 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 things right now uh, what i will do i will give it name as with master i will create a ct master data as this right this is my master data and then what i will do i will do sales i will create another city sales as and i will put this table right so i have master data and i have this sales also and now what i will do i will just join these two and master data will be my left table so select master let's go data md right inner joins sorry left join because in my la master data i want everything from my master table right left join sales on md dot product name equal to uh, this will be s s dot product name and md dot color equal to s dot color md dot size equal to s dot size right so this is my join is done on all three columns right now what else now i need to select whatever i need so i will say md i will take from master data right because i need all the combinations comma md dot color comma md dot size comma sum of sum of sales i will say total amount okay so total amount is here total amount is coming from sales table right so if i run this now see so whatever com for whatever combination i had total amount it is coming right and whatever is not there it is coming as null so what i can do if i have to show i want to show it as zero i can say 
is null if it is null show me zero as total amount right let me sort this order by order by total amount i run this so you have all the combination all 45 combination and for whatever you have sales we have sales so total 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 for 7 products we had sales so we are showing sales for this for every other combination it is zero so this is how you can create master data okay and once you have master data use this as lab table do a lab join on your transaction table so whatever data is there in sales table it will be joined everything else you can make it as zero i hope this is clear very important in real time you will be using it definitely you will be using it if you are in a in a bi team or, or some analytics team or you have to generate some fact table or something right so important concept right now we will move on to use case 2 okay so use case 2 is as i said to generate some performance data right so let's say you have some let's say this is our table transaction table um, transactions okay now it has just seven records but you want to do some performance testing right you want to generate some lakhs or millions of records right so for that how you will generate more records fine so what we can do we can join it with any other table which has which has more number of records so in your database you can choose any table whatever table you have which has like 1000 2000 or 5000 or 10000 of records and we can use that right so what i'm going to do i have a table let us show you in my master database orders table okay so this has if you see triple nine four records okay what i will do now i will just cross join with it right I am doing a cross join. So what will happen? Seven into triple nine four. That one much number of records will be generated, right? But again, see this almost seventy thousand records. You want more records? You can add one more. I will show you. But what I am saying, you don't want to repeat the order ID, right? Because if you see your order ID, let me alias it T and O. So t dot order id so for these records if you see i will take all the columns so i need all the columns from transaction table i'll do t dot star okay so if you see there are 699458 columns but this order id is repeating see order id should be a unique column right it should not be the value should not be repeating so for that what we can use we can do a row number so what i will do I will take other columns add as it is t dot product underscore name right t dot color comma t dot size comma t dot amount okay and instead of order id I will say zo underscore number over order by anything doesn't matter i will say order id i am just generating a unique key as order this code id right so if i run this now we have a unique order id right so we have 69958 records and we have 69958 till order id right now you will say other columns are repeating this also you can you can play with it so what you can do so let's say you have uh, we have three sizes ml xl right so what i can do let me let me go to the sizes and instead of just this i can say mm. okay so i will say uh, whenever row number this row number right is a divisible of so there are three so i will do a modulus of three and if it's zero one two i will give a different value right so i will say is when okay it is zero then give l 
then L. I, for now, I am putting just one condition X, XL. Okay, so this will give you different sizes. If it is a divisible of 3, then it will give L, otherwise, it will give XL, right? And as size, right? If I run it now, it is giving me different sizes now right so you can play with sizes color based on the order id however you generate it you can play with it and you can generate distinct values everything in amount also you can add row number or do some some calculation and just generate random data so this is how you can generate lots of data now th there are 69000 records right let's say you want some more more data so you will add one more time transactions table so it will become seven times more so transactions t1 because every time it is doing a cross join so if i run this this query is running because we have huge data now so this is running running is still running see we have 4 like 89000 you can do one more time now you want to now next thing is you want to put this in a table right you just don't want to just create as it is so what you can do you can create a table so first i will create an empty table select star into uh, let's say transactions test from transactions transactions right where one equal to two so what it is doing it will from transaction table i am doing one equal to two means nothing will be uh, qualified just the table structure will be created so if you see select star from if i do now so this empty table is created right now i will say insert into transaction test right and this is my query so if i run this now my new table will have these many number of records so i will just show you this table we have all the data created right you want more record you can do one more time and how many number of records you do you then limit it let's say this query is generating 5 million 100 records and you want just 500 records uh, 5 million records so you can just limit here limit 5 million right and it will 5 million records will be created and will be inserted into transaction test very important concept both are very useful concept in real life you will be using it so please please watch this video again if you have not understood if you have any doubts let me know please do like and subscribe to the channel if you have not thanks for watching till the, uh, till here thank you thank you bye bye